Hey guys, Joel Brywell here. Thanks for watching this Theology Thursday. If you haven't had a chance to watch the Witnessing Wednesday on the use of video for sharing the faith, uh, feel free to take a look at that and make a comment. On Finance Friday, I'll be dealing with ways to uh, increase your budget. Uh, on Theology Thursday, I want to deal with the issue of double predestination. There's an issue of predestination I dealt with recently, and it often raises the question, does, does the Bible teach double predestination? I don't believe it does, although I know some godly people that believe it does. I just don't think it's clear. There's some people say, hey, if, if, if it teaches predestination, you might as well believe in double predestination because if, if God chooses some to be saved, then therefore he's choosing others not to be saved. But I think that's going farther than what Scripture says, and I think you could point a finger at God to say this is why someone uh, didn't, uh, didn't get into heaven was because of God's fault rather than pointing at their lack of repentance and trust in Jesus. Um, some would say, well, Scripture does teach it in places like Romans 9 when Paul says, what if God, uh, wanting to demonstrate his own, uh, his own patience and endurance, uh, uh, put up with vessels of wrath prepared for destruction? Well, I think Paul raised a hypothetical question there. I don't think it's a clear statement. It's possible God does that, but I don't think Paul says that definitively there. Uh, some question 1 Peter, or rather, uh, yeah, 1 Peter chapter 2, where uh, Peter talks about, um, that they stumble because they disobey the word, they were destined for this. The question is they were destined for this, is they were destined to stumble. That is, they were predestined to, to stumble. Stumble means to stumble for, uh, for eternal condemnation. Uh, so it's not just our stumbling and catching ourselves, but stumbling and falling. Or is it all who um, disobey the word therefore stumble, and all who disobey the word and stumble are, are destined for that? that it's, it's not crystal clear there. In First Peter, again, it may teach that, but it's just not clear. There are a few places I think that teach that God doesn't uh, uh, favor double predestination. That is the reprobate that He condemns them uh, even before they were born. Uh, Ezekiel thirty-three, God says, "I take no pleasure in the death of the wicked." Um, I think uh, there would seem to be some sort of pleasure if He gets more glory through their condemnation. Uh, just as he gets glory through predestining and electing man by his grace, some would say he gets the glory that way, and I just don't see that's what he says. Um, also, in Matthew 25, when Jesus is teaching uh, about the sheep and the goats and the, the et eternal kingdom, he says to the sheep, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, uh, and, and, and come and inherit the place prepared for you from the foundation. Uh, it, makes it, uh, it makes it clear. He says, Prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Uh, you know, inherit this kingdom. So he says, come. And then later on to the goats, he says, depart from me, you cursed, uh, into a place of, uh, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. So where he says, the heaven, the kingdom has been prepared for God's people uh, and has been prepared for, from the foundation of the world. He doesn't say the same thing about hell, about the everlasting fire. He talks about that's a place prepared for the devil and his angels. So if it was a place prepared for unbelievers, I think he could easily say that, but he doesn't. And so I think there's a couple of places there that teach uh, that God does not hold to double predestination the way um, some theologians do. Uh, and uh, they believe Scripture teaches that. I just don't think it's clear enough, and I, wanna go, I don't want to go too far and try to make Scripture say something that it doesn't say. Uh, God can obviously work this out in his own and have predestination, but not double predestination. Um, but, uh, but I am interested in your, in your thoughts. Uh, feel free to make comments. Feel free to ask questions. And uh, we'll continue to wrestle with Scripture together and seek to honor Jesus uh, with all that we do. Thanks for joining with me. I'll see you again soon.